I love how August is literally dead and it's showing that he's late for work. If that doesn't just sum up life in America, I don't know what else does. Hello everybody, it's me Salita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are back on the simstree.com to make another family tree for another family of mine, the Westwood Bastionich Stallings family. That's right, today we're making a family tree for my Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge family, starring my founder Gwyneth Westwood and current heir Rosalie Bastionich. You guys really showed out for the first video I made about this service, featuring the legacy family when we made them a family tree from scratch. And now it's the Not So Berry challenges turn. In the first video, I went over the Sims Tree app, what it is, what it offers, what the premium version has versus the regular version. I'm not going to do that in today's video, but if you are interested, you can go on and head over to that video or you can click the link down below. It is an affiliate link, by the way, to go check out what the service has to offer. A lot of us remember the Plum Tree app. The Plum Tree was our way of keeping track of our Sims' legacies. Unfortunately, they couldn't afford to keep the website going and they had to shut down. But luckily for us, we have the Sims Tree now, which in my opinion is a lot better than the plum tree. I'm not just saying that because I'm an affiliate. I mean it. There's a lot of cool features that this service has to offer and there are more coming each and every day. On their Instagram, they're always showing off a new feature they add. So go follow them, go check them out, go support them. And also, if you want to support me, you guys, I have a affiliate code. If you're interested in purchasing the premium version of the Sims Tree app, you can go ahead and click the link down below or use my code SOLITA at checkout for a few dollars off your subscription. And also, if you want to just support me as a creator, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But the service is great. Anyway, I'm done hyping it up. Let's get into it. Here is the Volkov family tree, by the way. I need to stop calling it the Volkov family tree because it's literally not the Volkovs anymore. There's the Oklos, there's the Meshrams, there's the Kialohas, there's the Kibos. There's so many different last names now. The Vitors. I need to stop calling it the Volkov family tree. So I did change it to Legacy Family. <laughs> I know it's painful, but the Volkov last name is soon going to cease to exist, I fear. The only kid, the only kid that's carrying that last name right now is Micah Volkov. So unless Edward and Hillary have another son he's gonna be the only one carrying that last name and we don't even know micah could turn out to be just as fruity as autumn okay whatever we're gonna go up to here where it says add a dynasty yes i already have one this is a rough draft of the not so berry one but we're gonna actually do the full thing right now we're gonna call this tree the not so berry family and we're gonna give it description family tree for salita sims's not so berry challenge on youtube featuring the westwoods bastionich stallings and scotts yes because sarah scott her daughter uh tessa scott she in there too and we'll press save and then we're gonna be left oh it's in russian interesting we're gonna be left with a clean slate so we're gonna have to go ahead and go into the my sims category i'm gonna be very careful showing you guys this category because i have some sims in there that you have not met yet and we're gonna go ahead and create our founder which is gwyneth westwood all right so i blurred it out so you guys can't see it <laughs> all right so we're gonna type it in gwyneth westwood her gender is female her condition is alive i promise she is a person type human character traits let's see if i remember this it's going to be jealous materialistic and vegetarian her life goal is to be the chief of mischief per the not so berry challenge rules and then i'm going to add in all these additional fields about her which has to do with her reputation her likes and dislikes that's just what i like to add you can add whatever you want with these fields but that is just what i'm going to do i think i need six also for her occupation and her schooling okay i went ahead and added her i added her picture as well unlike the legacy family tree i'm not going to be adding the little zebra border around it i'm just going to leave it as is and here is her full fledged description person female human her character trait she actually has more than i thought but her main ones from the challenge rules is jealous materialistic and vegetarian she also gained paranoid from being with joseph i completely understand her cheerful like all my sims gain and lazy girl me too. I'm burnt out just like you. Chief of Mischief, her lifestyles are outdoorsy. Her reputation is atrocious. I wonder why. Her likes are summer strut music, Japanese folk music, fishing, gardening, mischief, photography, rock climbing, rocket science, cooking, fitness, and stories. And her dislikes are singer-songwriter music, spooky music, dancing, deep thoughts. 
She does not want to think about anything, girl. I don't blame you. After everything that man put you through, you're probably overthinking for majority of your life. Family motivated Sims, which I find odd because she literally murdered Joseph because of her daughter. Optimistic Sims and spirited Sims. Her education is a high school diploma and her occupation. I think I need to change this. It says pioneer new technologies. I think she's one level higher now. I think she's level nine now. And some additional facts about Gwyneth is cisgender, pansexual, serial killer, Libra, would be happy to have a child, prefers exclusive romantic relationships, meningitis immune, tuberculosis immune, a normal immune system, migraines, dastardly, and a fear of being cheated on. Oh girl. Back to the not so very family tree. We're gonna go up here to edit and then we're gonna go right here and add Gwynny in. Gwyneth Westwood. And there she is. So now we can go about adding her love interests and I'm going to add every single love interest she's ever had. I didn't do that originally with the legacy family tree with Alexis's fa uh, interest. She had like Ty Lum, Wolfgang Wilder, Roy D. Dillon. I didn't add that originally, but that's because the Sims tree, like I said in the beginning of this video, they always are adding new features. So beforehand, it was pretty much only like spouse House, boyfriend, da, da, da. but Ty and Wolfgang and Bjorn were never her boyfriend or her spouse. They were just kind of flirtatious with her, but now we can add flirts in. So I'm going to be adding a few flirts in, which include Diana Jones, Hideki Ikeda, and Augustus Britton. <laughs> Courtney's dad. What a small world. She was literally flirting with Courtney's dad that one episode. Her co-worker, the one I always made fun of. Aw, may he rest in peace. Okay, so the first one, the first real flirt she ever had was Diana Jones. So I'm gonna go ahead and add her in. So Diana, last name is Jones, female. She is currently alive, I think think i'm pretty sure type human character traits i have no clue so let's go into the game to see now that i think of it the first thing i have to do is find her uh do i have her saved nope i'm not keeping track of her whatsoever um is she still in oasis springs oh my god she is <laughs> That is perfect. Where is she? She's at a clinic in Brindleton Bay. Let's go to the clinic. What type of clinic are we talking about, Miss Diana? <gasps> She's pregnant? Oh, that's T. Who's the daddy? Is she married? Oh, I'm so intrigued now. We got to look into this. She isn't married and she already has two children. Okay. <laughs> Who's the daddy? Bo. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Finley's brother? <laughs> Dude, this game, this game always does something like this by what? Okay, who are our other kids? Devin Jones and Paola Jones. Who are their daddies? I need to know. I need to get in on this tea real quick. Okay, who is Paola's daddy? Dustin broke Finley's other brother. Stop. Stop. No way. Oh my God. Devin, who is your... Dustin broke. Oh Wait a minute, Diana, you are being brothers and you're pregnant by, oh my goodness, she's messy. She <laughs> Finley has two nieces and one nephew from Diana Jones who used to date Gwyneth, or not really date, but you know. Wow, wow. Oh my God, she has maxed out friendship and romance with both Bo and Dustin. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Okay, I'm, I'm, that was that was something. That was entertaining. That was wow. Let's focus on her traits now. Okay, so she's high spirited, child of the nature, outgoing, dance machine, and self assured. Okay, so she's egotistical. Got it. She prefers exclusive romantic relationships. She's neutral about having children. Are you sure? Are you sure? Quick learner and fear of ghosts. Well, that was that was something. That was some information I was not expecting to know. Okay, let's type her traits in. So she's a high spirited, child of the nature, self assured, dance machine, outgoing. Okay. Her life goal, academic. Looks like she has no lifestyle. She has a good reputation. She has a lot of likes and dislikes. Okay. I'm gonna guess her education is a high school diploma, and she is unemployed. Okay, her likes are violin, pop music, hipster sims, or hipster fashion, and spirited sims, and her dislikes is orange. That's it. I will be putting in descriptions for every single sim in the family tree before you guys get to see it, so no worries there. Last thing to do is add a picture of her. Let me get a screenshot of her. Should I put a face overlay on her? Yeah, I'm going to. I just have to. Okay, go ahead and select our picture. We're just gonna crop it a little bit, make sure those arrows are out of the picture. And we're done. We've added Diana Jones, her first 
flirt ever. Go back to the family tree and there's her first love interest. Now for Hideki Ikeda, I don't have really any information about Hideki. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Should I put Diana first or should I put Joseph? I should probably put Joseph, huh? First, before Diana, okay. I already made Joseph because this is going to take too long, but I did make him a while ago and that means I need to update his picture because he is dead. <sighs> He's dead. Joseph Bastianich is over. The little, little nice picture of him and we're gonna go ahead to where it has, where is it, filters. And we're gonna add the mono filter because he's dead. He's getting eaten by the worms as we speak. Oh, that is satisfying. Okay, great. Now we're gonna go back here and we're going to add, we'll add X. We'll add X and then we'll go ahead and add Joseph Bastianich. And then we'll add Diana Jones right after. And let's go ahead and change her from partner to flirt. Because yeah, jo Joseph, she did meet Joseph first. He was literally the first sim she ever met, which is so unfortunate. It was first Joseph and then Diana. And then she flirted with Hideki a bit and then she got back with Joseph. And then she flirted with August Britton. And then she flirted with Tanisha and now she's engaged to Tanisha. That's a lot, you are a hoe. So I did make Hideki as well because here's the thing about Hideki, he got cold. So I don't have any information on that man whatsoever. All I have is that he was a person and he was a male. And that he's dead. Oh, why does it say alive? No, no. No, no, no. Well, you know what? Maybe he wasn't cold. I guess I can quickly check. Oh my God, he actually didn't get cold. Okay, I can't click on his profile because Gwyneth is at work. Okay, I'm, am I gonna make her leave work early? Yep, I am. Who are you and why are you in your underwear? Hi, Gwynny Boo Bear. How are we? Okay, let's see. I will probably somehow be able to get a photo of him then if he's not cold. So he's paranoid, cool, no way. Obsessive, I believe that. Evil, oh I 100% believe that. And determined, yes, I do believe that he's determined to be both obsessed and evil, so checks out. He likes kids radio music, that's odd, and violin. Okay, great. I know nothing else about the man. <laughs> or you know what, if I do control any sim, Aha, I could see he wanted to be a computer whiz and I could see his other traits. Okay, this works out great. I really thought he was cold, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Adult milestones died. <laughs> And rightfully so. That man was so annoying. I don't care what anybody says. That man got on my nerves. I was ecstatic when Sapphire Hudson took him out. Oh, and he has an awful reputation. Again, checks out. Okay, I finished his. His lifestyles were none. Reputation awful. Likes were kids, radio music, violin, and hipster, and preppy fashion. No dislikes. High school diploma. He was a scientist. I'm not sure what rank he was in. And he was murdered by Sapphire Hudson, as he should. All right, the next one is going to be August Britton. And I know August just died. Died, so he wasn't cold yet. So let's go to Courtney James's lot and then see if we can find out any more information about him because I don't think Gwyneth knows that much about him. I'm actually kind of curious about his relationships with his kids. So, because here's the thing, Courtney's last name is James. Well, I can't click on it because he's dead. My bad. Who's Courtney's dad? I can't click on her. Should I go over there? I guess I'm going to go over there. I guess I'm going to go to her lot. It'll probably tell me more about August anyway. Why can't I leave? Speckles is aging up? No way! No, my baby! She's an elder? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not, I'm not crying. Oh my God. She's an elder? No. Oh no. Oh, I gotta go hug my cat now. Hold up. Should I bring my cat over here? Give me one second. So I brought my cat over here. Her name's Aria. Aria, say hi. Start purring. Please. I'm rubbing her butt. <laughs> because that's what she loves. Trying to rev her up like an engine so you guys can hear her. Come on, my love. She hates being carried and I'm carrying her right now. So she's probably super pissed off at me. Can you purr for the people? Can you make any noise whatsoever for the people? Makes any cat start screaming their ass off. I like how this video just suddenly turned ASMR. Please speak, please, please. Well, at least I got one meow out of her. Oh, I'm so sad. Speckles is old now. Oh, now I have to update her part of the family tree and make her an elder. No, I'm depressed. That's my baby. Oh, no. 
Oh, does she have gray hair? Oh, no. Oh, she has gray around her eyes and on her back. How long does she have to live? Give it to me straight. No chaser. 12 days. You're kidding me. Oh, I'm depressed. Okay, I'm not saving. <laughs> I know she's gonna age up anyways whenever I decide to play them again, but oh, I'm sad now. I'm so sad. I'm going to be having the most bougiest funeral for Speckles, so don't even worry. We're gonna celebrate her. Poor Rosalie, that's her childhood cat. <laughs> Another thing to send her into a deep depression and further into the void of the Gen 2 rules for the Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, that's enough. I just realized now too that Courtney and Finley are neighbors. Oh, lucky Rosalie. Courtney has completed the readily, huh? Holy shit, how? Become an adult, spend a thousand dollars on kid stuff? Girl, Mr. James James is a spoiled kid. James, fucking <laughs> James. Courtney likes Levi Birch, the dude that played Rosalie and was an asshole to her at that restaurant in Oasis Springs. I mean, hey girl, you're single and you're baby's fatherless. So I recommend, yeah, let's find a daddy. Let's get you some child support. She's still a teen. Oh, she's a young adult now. Let's just talk about her traits since we're here. She's self-absorbed, analytical, gentle, lighthearted, and silly. That is a perfect description of her. This, no, there's nothing going on in that brain. I'm telling you, no thoughts, just vibes. Tuberculosis immune, strong immune system, prefers exclusive romantic relationships and does not want any more children. Good for you, girl. Good for you. I think James James JJ is it. I think that's the safest thing to do. She's domestic and she has a fear of death. It's probably from the trauma of her parents dying. And speaking of her parents, let's see if we can see anything else about August. Okay, but we have now all of August's traits. He was squeamish, well-balanced, comforting, optimistic, and aromantic. He liked fitness and optimistic sims. He was a high school graduate and at least she had a happy childhood with him. Seems like an overall decent guy. I just like to make fun of him because I don't know the reason if I'm being honest. All right, so here's everything. His life goal was angling ace. His lifestyles were none. Reputation was neutral. Likes for fitness and optimistic sims. He had no dislikes. He had a high school education. He was a scientist and he died from old age. The last sim I'll be adding though is Tanisha Stallings. I love how August is literally dead and it's showing that he's late for work. If that doesn't just sum up life in America, I don't know what else does. And I already did create Tanisha a while back, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add her in and let me make sure everything's up to date. Okay, maybe not. I did not add some very important things about her. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Tanisha's panel. Her traits are comforting, egotistical, genius, overachiever, and passionate. She is tuberculosis immune and meningitis immune. She's a weak immune system, would be happy to have a child. Is a Pisces, ooh, red flag. Prefers exclusive romantic relationships and she's alluring. She has a close-knit lifestyle, a good reputation. She has the soulmate aspiration and her likes are flirtation and deep thoughts optimistic sims makeup and green and blue all right i went ahead and updated that and that's done oh also i need to change that from what does this say partner to where is it engaged because she's her fiance now all right great i'm pretty much done with all of gwyneth's love interest so now we just go on to adding her family which includes our heir and bella and also <laughs> elderly bag of bones speckles i'm so sad that ruined my afternoon i already added speckles so we'll just go to pets and then add speckles in go over here and we'll add the plus sign and then we're gonna go ahead and add rosalie who i've also already added i just didn't want to make this video too long you know what i'm saying all right there's rosalie and then next up is going to be bella westwood who i've also already added yep okay i'm gonna make sure everything's up to date so here's everything about rosalie she is a person she is female she is a human her character traits are hot-headed snob and romantic her life goal is serial romantic her lifestyle is people person and her reputation is pristine her likes include fitness pranks physical intimacy affection and cerebral sims she has no dislikes at the moment she graduated as high school valedictorian which i still find shocking i've never had a sim graduate as valedictorian she's my first and i really did not put that much effort into her education she's currently unemployed in my current gameplay and her clubs were the debate team in high school and also the rebel rousers in high school here's some additional facts about our heir she has an unknown sexuality she was flirting with courtney a while back um but we obviously know that she likes men obviously but for women we don't know and we may never know since you know she has finley she is cisgender she's cunning a linguist and a gemini <laughs> please tell me what that means for her please i'm not good with zodiac stuff but i feel like gemini fits her 
I feel like she can be a two-faced bitch. So let's see. Indifferent to being romantically exclusive. Oh my God. She does not want children, actually. I thought Rosalie would be on the neutral side of having children. Not like someone that's like, oh, I want kids. But you know, on you know, open to it. But no, she doesn't want children. And that's too bad. Because <laughs> the rules say you gotta have them. Meningitis immune, tuberculosis immune, and she's the normal immune system. She's good manners. She's irresponsible. Eczema, high self-esteem. She was a happy toddler. She's alluring. Fear of being judged. And then we have valedictorian from high school and popular from high school. As for Bella, there is a description on her. I guess I did write one about her, but I'm not going to show you yet. She is a person. She's an alien. She is unconventional, erratic, daredevil, and whimsical. She's a renaissance sim. That is her aspiration. She has no lifestyle, a neutral reputation, no likes, no dislikes. She's currently a high school student. Her occupation is a student as well. And she's a part of the nerd brains club at school. As for her additional facts, she is cisgender. Her sexuality is unknown. She's indifferent to being romantically exclusive, just like her sister. Why do I feel like they were both traumatized by what happened with Gwyneth and Joseph? And they've both decided, well, Rosalie, we don't know yet, but Bella has decided that this, 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 this relationship shit, it's not for me. It's just not. Meningitis immune, tuberculosis immune. She's a normal immune system and she was a top-notch infant. She has asthma. She is headstrong. She's very unpopular, apparently yikes quick learner and she's a fear of being judged which makes so much sense considering the whole debacle with her going to school in her alien form and getting beat up by kendra smith it makes sense why she has a fear of being judged all right we have a few more sims to add and then we're done for now at least i'm gonna go ahead and add rosalie's boyfriend finley broke who yes I've already made. Oh, actually too, Tessa Scott. Now Tessa and Rosalie have not met yet, but they will probably meet one day in the future. And I feel like it's important to add her in because she is a big part of the story. And oh my God, she looks just like Joseph, it's scary. What is with Joseph's genes being so powerful? And then I'm also gonna add in her boyfriend, Finley Broke, and he is her partner. Bella has no other siblings and she has no love interest at the moment. Looks like I need to update both Tessa's and Finley's information. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Ooh, we do have Jaquan and we do have Levi and we do have her godson James James too never mind we have a lot of sims dad Jaquan Scruggs male alive unfortunately a person and he is a human I'm 100% sure let's go see what he's up to looks like the Scruggs live in Brindleton Bay. I've actually never been to Jaquan's house, so I'm actually curious. Jaquan, how are we doing? I'm doing great. I hope you're doing terrible. Going for a swim, are we? Oh, I hope you drown. He has the psychopathic tendencies aspiration. Oh my god, it's so fitting because you're literally psychotic. Okay, so his... <laughs> <laughs> self-absorbed. Are we surprised? Whoa, he's a want about Rosalie. What is this? Chat with crush. Oh no, not happening, boo. She is not coming near you with a 10 foot pole, my love. Fear of swimming, but you're going to go swimming. Okay. <laughs> self-absorbed, determined, chatty, music lover, and green fiend. He prefers non-exclusive romantic relationships and would be happy to have a child. Please don't ever procreate. No lifestyles, neutral reputation, his likes are dancing and hardworking sims. Yeah, I bet you're working so hard to get in Rosalie's pants. I need to stop insulting my sims. But you know what? It's Jaquan, so I don't care. What are his other wants? Rudely introduce self and study drama at university. You want to be an actor. Makes sense. You put on quite the performance Oh my God, I need to stop. This is how I insult my Sims on the regular though. All right, I added Jaquan in and he is her flirt. I removed Finley for now because it goes Jaquan and then Levi Birch, and then I'll add him back in later. All right, now we have Mr. Levi Birch, who I also hope is doing horrendous. His traits are cute, comforting, party animal tender, and erratic. Prefers exclusive romantic relationships, has a weak immune system, tuberculosis immune, and does not want children. No lifestyles, neutral reputation, and his dislikes are winter holiday music, fitness, he likes pranks, he likes spirited sims and idealist sims, and he likes the color blue. His aspiration is to be a master mixologist. Levi is devastating because he's actually cute. I like how Bella has nothing, just speckles. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I know you guys are concerned about Bella's storyline. Like, where are we going with this? I have one planned out for her. It just hasn't gone to fruition yet because I'm focused a lot right now on Rosalie. But once Rosalie goes off to college, I don't know when you guys see this video, she probably still will not be going off to college just yet. But whenever she does is when I'll start to creep into Bella's storyline. And last for now is gonna be Tessa Scott. So we're gonna go back and see what her traits are. It's currently raining in Hemford on Bagley and little Tessa Scott is outside with her family. She only has one day to 
until she ages up. Wow. And it looks like she has no knowledge that her daddy, Joseph, is dead. And good God, do you see her face? It's like Rosalie all over again. That man's genetics are insanely strong. It's not fair. Of course, the scumbag gets the strongest genetics. What are her wants? She wants to join a new club from being an insider, watch a family movie, and level up in a mental skill. Aw, she's so cute. Okay, her traits are amusing, warm-hearted, and insider. She was a happy infant, and she has neutral confidence. And she's a neutral reputation. Very easy. Very easy. All right, and I updated her information as well. And that is pretty much it. And that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Don't forget that I do have an affiliate link down below if you are interested in getting the premium version of The Sims Tree, or you can use my code SOLITA at checkout for a few dollars off. If you end up using it and supporting me, thank you so much. I always appreciate the support you guys give me. And like I said before, this tree is available to you guys to see which it will be if you're watching this video right now. There will be more information about each member along with descriptions, photos in the gallery, and each of them will have a picture. So this is not the final draft, which you guys see below in the description of this video will be the final draft. And this family tree along with the legacy family tree will always be available by clicking the link tree link in the description of this video on my Twitter, on my TikTok. It's available pretty much on every single platform that I post content on. Let me know if you use the Sims tree service and what you think of it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.